Hi everyone, welcome to day 14 of What Is With Hare Krishna. When I started this podcast, um, I actually didn't have any uh, much purpose. The only purpose that I thought about was improve my speaking skills and articulating my thoughts and just sharing my journey towards as I am learning a few courses um, like Python courses and uh, machine learning courses and things like that. So as I will be learning these things, I wanted to share those things with you. And uh, and everything that I say is actually kind of a, a message to me as well. So out of interest, out of curiosity and out of inspiration from few other people, especially, you know, maybe the only guy who actually inspired me to do this was uh, Daniel Burke, uh, who is a machine learning instructor. Uh, you can find his YouTube channel and, uh, you know, he is running several courses on Udemy and, uh, and also on a website called Zero to Mastery. Check that out. Um, so the thing is, that's how I, my purpose was when I started this podcast. There was, there was a little of I knew uh, what I can do with the podcast and what what things will come along right so <clears throat> somehow i'm starting to find some positive aspects of doing this uh, because today i actually did my day one of 100 days of code so when i did the 100 days of podcast the 100 days of code thing wasn't there in my mind um i just started with a phone camera and you know a microphone and uh, sh- uh, recording my voice and uploading that into spotify and some other podcast platforms and later on i thought about you know why not shoot a video so that's how the youtube channel actually i started and um, later on i thought about you know why not step up the uh, challenge a little bit like do a hundred days of code challenge because i'm doing and learning uh python course right <clears throat> so why not uh, you know challenge myself to do that uh, so in the past few days I was I've been thinking about you know today I will be doing that I will I will be beginning my hundreds of code challenge but somehow I couldn't uh, for some reason I ha- I shared those reasons in the in the previous episodes check that out so today it was like uh, you know today or today or not that was my decision for when I started this day I I really wanted to do the first program of hundreds of code. Um, so I have, I, I'm following the Angela use uh, 100 days of code uh, bootcamp which you can find on Udemy uh, so which is a very interesting course because it touches various um, various frameworks various project sites of Python and uh, it's very interesting and it's just so robust uh, it's so rich in terms of its content and the <clears throat> variety of projects that she has uh, included in this course so it's not just it's not really a course there is a few lectures there is a few lectures and um, she just uh, give an idea of what is the problem that uh, we have to do we have to do for that day um, as she just shares a pdf like these are the things that uh, need to be satisfied with the program you know things like that at least that that's what i understand uh, understand so far now um, so today was uh, I just began with the day 15 of the Angela use 100 days of code um, boot camp so day 15 is kind of starting from the intermediate level so I didn't want it to go back to the beginner levels kind of things I just started with the uh, uh, intermediate level <coughs> so the first podcast uh, sorry the first uh, project I use podcasts in the world all the time now so anyway the first project was um, a coffee maker you know a simulation of coffee making uh, like uh, in a coffee in a coffee machine it's like you have um, you can give you options like it's latte espresso uh, you know th- options like that and uh, you have to pay a an amount also and uh, if the amount of the coffee that you ordered um, is uh, if you give an amount like in terms of how many quarters or how many nickels how many dimes you know the US money so um, if the uh, if the amount that you give is more than the cost of the coffee then the program will return a balance value and uh, <clears throat> just say here is your coffee right and also there is a fixed resources in the uh, in the program that uh, you need to take care of because you know as you 
this program will uh, always be asking what do you want so after you deliver a course of uh, coffee the program will continue to ask what do you want next and what do you want next right so as you order the resources start to start to decrease um, in terms of uh, uh, the amount of uh, water milk coffee uh, coffee uh, you know and uh, so the, what you need to do is you need to make a program where you are tracking all these things so if you deliver a coffee uh, you have to calculate if you have to give any balance to the customer and also you have to keep track of the resources that you have in terms of as I said water milk and coffee and how much is left and if you can't deliver you have to send a message to the user that you can deliver because of there is um, there is no enough water or there is no enough uh, milk and uh, you know things like that and also uh, you need to you have few options like uh, um, uh, you know the making report generation of the current status of those resources and also you have to keep track of the money that you're getting from uh, delivering each type of coffee uh, as a profit so this will be part of the report so it's kind of an easy when you say these things but uh, uh, it's really interesting because uh, you are you are using dictionaries Python data structure dictionaries and uh, you the real deal is not the just real deal is not the the problem you know the real deal is how you're able to uh, compartmentalize the problem right that uh, that's where you actually understand that you need to improve your skills uh, because you can take that into a next level uh, when you go for bigger 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 problems uh, where things get more and more more complex so in those situations what you need to what, what your skill level should be is that uh, as i understand at least is that you should be able to um, compartmentalize this this a bigger problem into into small 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 modules uh, so each module or can, otherwise we can say it's a function that that has uh, that has some duty and the other function has some duty and how they actually you know interact with each other so that's the skill that you actually need uh, while, while doing this problem so that was a very fun interesting problem um, I took around one and a half hours, I don't know, one hour, two hours, one and a half hours uh, to solve that. Um, and I actually don't, didn't remember any of the uh, Python uh, dictionaries, how you access and how you, um, you know, take values or change the values. But that's, a, that's the thing. Uh, whenever you are stuck with, a, uh, with an issue, you can just Google search and learn about that. Okay, that's the way to do that. Or sometimes you get an error and uh, you are wondering oh why is that happening uh, you can think about it with all your logic but you still don't understand and uh, there will be great explanation to why some issues are happening uh, I'm not talking about silly mistakes that you make but really conceptual issues so uh, as you can Google search these things and you go to Stack Overflow or websites like that and they will actually have clear explanations of why those things happen so um, this is things that what what happen uh, what happens what happens when you actually start doing things in uh, practically uh, not just uh, a small few programs but really really uh, taking big big problems uh, as you go through the language okay so that was a fun interesting problem and tomorrow as I understand the next challenge will be to do the same thing in an object oriented way uh, of Python so that will be interesting also and you will see um, then, then then I think there will be a Tinker uh, related project uh, problem so <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> I'm actually having a really trouble with my cough um, at nights I, I am having very much trouble sleeping so yesterday night I have to wake up around one and a half hours or one and a half uh, one and a half a.m. or uh, 2 a.m. you know uh, just waking up not having not a being able to sleep so somehow uh, I slept and woke up around 8 a.m. Uh, so that's what that was the thing that I was thinking like I have to start 100 days of code today itself you know somehow I just have to start by today so my work started from 9 a.m. and uh, it ended around uh, 6 7 p.m. and right after that I, I did I just went to my computer and uh, you know opened the opened up the page and uh, looked into the problem and did it so that's how you do it um, so tomorrow I don't want to uh, do that as late as I did today but I want to do that 
at least in the morning uh, at least early early in the morning now the thing is I have very clear vision of what I want to do so there is no question of uh, whether I will be waking up you know things like that won't be happening I'm pretty much sure um, so that's the thing when you start with something and uh, you somehow start to take steps and progress uh, you look into much more better um, uh, you know improving uh, improvements in terms of your skill levels and uh, the, the path becomes much more clear as you start to walk that's what I want to say um, and when I started this podcast there wasn't anything like that uh, all I wanted to do was just do 100 days of podcasts just me talking about whatever I will be doing so now I'm talking about hundreds of code and the projects I'm doing um, I'll be very fun uh, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting that uh, how things start to unfold, right? Um, so these are the things that uh, I will I will I will love, I will love to share with you guys. That uh, you start with whatever you have and you somehow reach um, the destination that uh, that you should be uh, should be belonged uh, to. Um, so that's the, and that's what I want to share in terms of my learning and things like that and. Uh, uh, what else? Um, so yesterday I also um, I watched a clip of Lex Friedman's podcast uh, with Tim Urban. So I didn't I don't know the, about the guest much, but I actually looked into his uh, website uh, because it has a very interesting uh, name. Uh, Wait, but why? That's the name of his blog. So he is a blogger, I understand at least, and uh, he. He actually run this blog with very interesting articles that has drawings and very very uh, attractive you know not just uh, uh, you know just writing all over but instead you have pictures and uh, and the topics that they have at least I just uh, taken a look and everything seems very very interesting um, very, very interesting topics they have chosen and uh, I actually looked into one particular uh, article which I like to share um the thing is that what they share is actually one one thing that i shared at least uh, in the early episodes um the first week's episodes but i said that um you have like <coughs> uh 24 hours a day and you sleep for eight hours and you are left with uh, 16 hours that's all you have and uh, you know that kind of calculation and the same thing that they did in this particular uh, article on this blog but instead what he said was um, the 16 hours if you really look into is all you have right and 16 hours in terms of minutes is like a thousand minutes around around a thousand minutes so all you have in a day is thousand minutes apart from the sleep so that's what you wake up to and if you really look up uh, think about the thousand minutes it's actually 10 100 minute blocks yeah uh, or we can say sorry 10 not 10 100 minutes block but instead I can say that uh, 100 10 minute blocks right yeah a hundred ten minute blocks that's all you have for a for a day uh, so you wake up into a hundred ten minute blocks for the entire day to live on and as you as the day goes on uh, or the 10 minute 10 minute 10 minute will be decreasing so it's a very interesting calculation that uh, you can do um, so in the website they share a, like a grid so I just uh, draw a rough figure here if you're on audio just trust me um, here I have a, uh, a 10 by 10 grid and this is all you have all your time is like each block is uh, 10 minute uh, 10 minutes of length uh, or size uh, in terms of the grid so that's all you have and uh, it's interesting how you allocate each of the blocks in uh, blocks into you know even to improve yourself or in terms of exercising in terms of talking with people talking with your friends in terms of entertaining yourself watching Netflix or whatever um, in terms of um, you know working for your body working for your mind working for your brain whatever so all you have is like this 110 minute blocks and uh, if you can just somehow think like okay this this much amount 
you can maybe uh, draw uh, or take divide this total grid into blocks of you know this is this this amount of grids i like to spend on exercising exercising or this much amount of time i like to spend for studying or this much amount of time that i like to spend on entertaining or if we can just take a look into the calculation that will be another funny thing to do right uh, maybe you can take in take your phones there's a thing there's an application your phone called um, digital well-being so if you are someone who is having trouble with uh, with your time using mobile phones or social media just go to on android i know uh, so on android we can go to this application digital well-being it will be in a settings page or somewhere and it will tell you like how many time that uh, you spent on your phone how many unlocks you have made on the phone how many how many time you have spent on each application um, every single application that you opened to show you how many minutes have you spent right so it's really funny thing to do um, just take that and uh, just color these things like if you if you spend the time on YouTube or Instagram um, and you use them for entertainment you can just uh, mark those things in this grid accordingly and uh, see how much of your time you are wasting or utilizing for things that don't necessarily help you in your life improving your life improving your career improving your job and improving your family uh, and because it's very pictorial uh, if you do it uh, in like a grid it will be very interesting and uh, it will be a it will be a knowledge that you will be gaining about uh, how you act and how you think about you are acting uh, with your with your time in your life so uh, check that out um, so that's it uh, that's all i wanted to share with you today and uh, another thing that i want to share is um, i'm not having i'm not uh, being strict about uploading the videos by the day i record this so today is uh, day 15 uh, 15 february um, but i don't know if i will be able to upload this by today it's almost like uh, 10 30 uh, 10 30 now you can see this here uh, so it will take around as i said before in an earlier episode that it will take around uh, one hour to upload the content to youtube um so if i want to stay stay like stay late uh that late then tomorrow i won't be able to wake up and also with my issues with my cough um okay uh, with with my cough it's it's difficult so uh today i uploaded the yesterday's episode yesterday i recorded the uh, podcast and it was today that i uploaded and it is fine uh, you know the basic understanding is that uh, you take whatever it takes to be the best uh, to improve on, improve yourself so if this is uh, something that is blocking you then uh, stop that and uh, don't be sorry for yourself so uh, in the very few of the first episode i was very strict in terms of i want to upload the content by the day itself but uh, when i understood that it's not actually helping me but it's actually you know kind of adversely affecting my schedule and my ambitions of waking up early and uh, so I, 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 I start being strict about that maybe tomorrow morning what I can do is uh, is like I can I can wake up early and um, do that program of second day of holidays of code and maybe uh, record the podcast uh, with much more interesting topics and all so I will be able to re- upload that uh, tomorrow Maybe at least tomorrow evening. Uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, that's all I want to share with you guys today. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening.